thank you first of all, Hinat, to having invited me. Okay, yeah. it's uh, I think it's a little bit like a payback because I used to invite you all the time, and now it's you inviting me. <laughs> okay, so I first knew Hinat, uh, I think many years ago, uh, and she she came to many years, almost every year since uh, you know, the One World Summer Festival. I used to invite her. We used to run these very big festivals in, in the UK. We had uh, more than a thousand people because um, because uh, as a young person, when I started macrobiotics, I, I went to this fantastic camp in, in the Berkshires, uh, um, America. You know, this is, was you know, the Cushing Institute and they held a very big conference in, uh, in, in some kind of a college. And um, I, I, I would also like to welcome to Christine here because uh, it's a friend that, that I've known since those times. And, and I remember that in England, I, I went to this camp the, like I, I just got married with my wife Maria, and she dragged me to you know, to this uh, summer camp uh, of the UK. It was then called the UK Summer Gathering, and uh, it was that I met Christine for the first time. So we, I think we're talking 1980, uh, 1995. So this is a long, long, long time ago. But you know. Uh, a few years ago, I, I, I'd gone to the Berkshires and, and they had about, I think, you no, know, does to you no know, to the Berkshires camp. I, and I think they, you know, this happened to be one of the biggest camps that they ever had. And uh, as a young person, I had such a fantastic time with a thousand people. There were parties, there were lots of activities, etc. And then I, I got to the UK camp. I, I was expecting something similar, and I found only about 50 people. And yeah, I, I felt like it was a little bit like a low key event, uh, oh, beautiful in, in its own way, anyway. But then I had these dreams that wouldn't it be fantastic if we could have such a big festival in the, in the UK as well? So I had you know, this dream with Maria and we started to, to, you know, to develop it. And we went from 50 people to 100, and then from 100 to 200, and 200 to 400. And, um, and we, we got to the 1,200 at the point we, in 2004, which was, which was our biggest camp. And we held eight, eight, seven, 800 until we stopped uh, and, and we started to, to do this in Portugal. So, and, um, so this was a long time ago. And also, uh, thanks for the publisher for being here. She, she was the one that in 1988, we did our, uh, our level three together in Kiental. Martin Halsey was there, there was Michio, et cetera. So it's good to, to see so many faces and, and so much history here. Okay, so the, you know, the topic for, for today is I Ching. So I Ching is, is one of my biggest passions and, and I came to, to I Ching from the macrobiotic studies. But, um, when I was doing my levels, it, it looked like the only option to you know, to come on uh, was to be a macrobiotic counselor in, in terms of diet. Macrobiotics is very focused around diet, and, and we just seen a, a cooking class, and and we just seen like, um, and then Martin came and he, he talked a lot about food, but ultimately, macrobiotics is about you no know, developing judgment. So, so that you can make choices. And then those choices, you apply to every area of your life. And, and this is what I call to, to be macrobiotic, is when you have a certain kind of judgment and you apply that judgment to every area of your life, not just eating, to you not know, your relationships, to, to, um, you know, to, to everything, to science, to culture, to, to everything you know. And the, the I Ching is a fantastic way. I think I Ching, is really you not know, the expression of the order of the universe. So when you study the, the, the Ching, actually sort of what you are actually doing is you're developing judgment because the, the Ching is supposed to, to be you not know, the oldest book in, in the world, but possibly one of the oldest book in the world. And it goes to the very basis of what macrobiotics is about because macrobiotics is a, a developing judgment, but along a certain paradigm. And this paradigm is a unique principle and is the, the study of yin and yang. And the Ching is all about yin and yang. So because I wasn't so much interested in diet, I was more like a philosopher. Uh, I, I went onto the, to the, the root not of medicine, but I, I went onto the root of feng shui and the Ching and, um, and Chinese astrology, so I could develop judgment. 
And this is what I'm uh, wanting to, to present to you today. Has anyone heard about the Ching here? Yes? Now you, no, you can just say yes. I don't know if you have no D. I don't know if, if you have the, the option to unmute yourself, but you, you, you can here in, uh, in my classes. So you, you, you know, know that you can say something. Have, have, have you ever cast um, a question to Li Ching? Yes, yeah? so I have. I have, yeah. yeah. So, 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 the, so number one question is, how does it work? How is it possible that we, we can ask a question about something that is going to happen in, in the future? No, no, what is your idea about no, this question about time? It's, the time is a funny and strange thing, isn't it? Uh, how is it possible that we can f f foresee you know, the actions that we're taking now, f f foresee that there are consequences in the future? What is time? What is the past? What is the present? And what is you know, the future? Any ideas, any, any takes? No? Because has the future already happened or not? No. no. What do you think? No. No. Maria here says not. Okay. So th that you no know, depends on, on the concept of time as well. Okay. So let me just have um, share my screen here. Yeah. So 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 I'm I'm going to start you no know, sharing my screen. Okay, so, so tell me what you can see now. An empty page, right? There's nothing in here, right? So, no, this is a bit like um, in Chinese metaphysics, we have you know, the concept of wuji. Wuji is called you know, the total emptiness, is nothing. Now, this is our, our primordial world, it's, it's the beginning of everything. So, 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 so basically, it's total emptiness. So is it's the it's total emptiness. Emptiness. No, this is where we come all come from at, at some point. No, the, this is also called the world of the absolute. Sometimes some people might call it God. I know there's quite a lot of Jewish people, or God or or etc. So in, in Chinese metaphysics, no, this is the world of Uji. Okay, and just imagine so something that's so big and so expanded and it expands at such a velocity that at some point, you know, when you put food in a, in a centrifugator, it's something that spins very quickly, it kind of is such a strong expansion that suddenly it separates. Okay, and then when it separates, in and yang is created and the world of the relative is created. And in Chinese metaphysics, we call this the world of Tai Chi. It's, it's called like the, the big universe. And this is you know, the world of the relative. Now, this is the world as we know it. And what is you know, the difference between Wu Ji and, and Tai Chi? I'm oh, no, sorry, the, no, this is here, yeah. We're just over here. What you see in the Wuji, not that you not see. So what is it? Not that you, you see in the world of the relative in Taiji that you do, do not see in Wuji, sort of graphically. Graphically, I, I, I like to have a bit of interaction. So if you want to switch your, your microphones on, you're you're quite welcome. What you see you, contrast. It's a contrast, okay. But but how is is the contrast? How is the contrast no represented in opposites in metaphysics in terms of macrobiotics? What is it no, that you see in the in the circle of Tai Chi that, that is not in the G? What's happened there? It's opposites. Called, it's called opposites. And what world what word do, do we have for the opposites? In yin and yang. Yin and yang. So Tai Chi has yin and yang as male and female, as, as dark and light, as sun and moon, as God in and yang. 
whilst Doji has got no yin and yang. Wuji is the ultimate source. And then we go into the world of the relative, which is you know, the world of yin and yang. So, so, so I'm gonna tell you like a story. Now I, I'm gonna separate you know, the yin and yang. And here is, is, is a little bit different from macrobiotics because we say in Chinese metaphysics, you know, we've got this slightly you know, different approach to yin and yang. We say that yin yang is full of energy. Okay, so it's rising energy because, because when the energy rises, it becomes more energetic. So, so no, just to make a concept very simple, we have to represent yin and yang now. And because yang has got lots of energy, I'm going to represent yang by a full by a, a full line. Okay, sort of. Can you see here on on top of my left screen, on top of the screen on, on the left? It is a is unbroken line which is called yang, and yin because it's it's apparently with less energy. It, it it's represented by a broken line. So here I, I'm going to represent yin by a broken line. Yang it's a bit like um, a tree in summer, full of leaves, full of life. Yin is a bit like a tree in the winter no leaves and, and it looks dead. But what, happen, what happens is, is that the life force has gone inside. So it's still there, but it's not so apparent. Okay, so, so now I, I'm going to put Yang on, on the left and Yin on, on, on the right. Okay, so this is also the male and female principle and it's the beginning of, of the universe. It's a little bit like Adam and Eve. So now that we have created Adam and Eve, what are Adam and Eve going to do? Procreate. Oh, they, they're going to join and they're going to have sex. So they're going to mix up, right? So because you know, they're going to create you no know, descendant. So now I need to uh, mix in yin and yang. Okay. And graphically, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put yin and yang on top of, of, of each other. So I, I'm going to come here. And I'm going to divide the yang into two. And the yang, which is a man, no, this is a line, which is the base. This is yin, no, the, no that this is no, no, the base. And then on top, I'm going to put a yang or yin line. Okay, so, so this is a yang line on the left and the yin line on, on, on the right. Okay? And here as well, I'm, on the left, I'm going to put a yang line. And here, I'm going to put a yin line. Has, has anyone heard about you know, this system or is this completely new? Actually, it says in the Tao Te King, which is you know, the, you know, the book of Tao. Actually, I, I think that macrobiotics is just a modern expression of Taoism, okay? Because all the, all the principles you know that my master, you know, Jojo Sao, okay, can you see behind me? You no know, George and Lima. And over there, we've got Micho and Evelyn, but I, I met uh, Micho. Uh, I met Micho many times, but, but, but unfortunately, no Jojo Sawa. I never met him. But for, for me, no Jojo, Jojo Sawa is the greatest thinker of, of the modern era, and he put it everything so simply. You know, he, he's just talking about yin and yang and the order of the universe. And he, and it's the first time in one of his books he mentioned no, no the Tao Te King because macrobiotics is nothing but Taoism, no philosophical Taoism, a modern. Uh, in, in interpretation of philosophical Taoism. And in the Tao Te King, which is you know, the Bible of the Taoists, it says that one uh, creates two, two could create three, and three could create everything in, in the world. And so one is the Wuji, two is yin and yang, and three is, is the interaction of yin and yang. That means that when you have you know, the source of the universe, from the source of, of the universe, you create polarity. And when you, 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 you mix this polarity in and yang, so when you have a couple, uh, no, they can breathe forever. And this is not, not the order of, of the creation of, of the universe. So now what we're doing is Adam and Eve have created four children, okay? That they were two, and now that no, they were four, okay? So, so Joao, this thing about Adam and Eve, so in the Bible story, one comes before the other. And the, the 
the second one, the female, is created from the male. Is that the same principle here, or they're created? Because because uh, yang is together. heaven. Yang is, is heaven, and the yin is the earth, and heaven creates not the earth. So heaven comes first. Yeah. Okay. So this is a modern interpretation, but it fits everything. Now it also says in, in, in the Bible that God could created the uh, created the, the world in how many days? No. Seven. Six. Six days. Six. Right, so six, six days. days. And at the seven, he, he rested. So, so the, the, the story is here is a little bit upside down. No, no the seventh day comes first. Is 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 everything, and then it comes six six days of, of, of creation. Basically, so so these four images. So 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 this is the world of polarity. This is the world of energy. And then you, you, you create another world in six steps because then I'm going to sort of recreate th th this again. So, so, so this is another base. But by the way, I'm not putting all these terms. One is the great yang, this is the great yin, small yang, and three. Yin. No, this is called this is called the for four images. But then sort of we come here. Now this image is a small yin. No, this is another small yang. And this is the, you know, the great yin. Okay, and now I, I'm, I'm going to put you know, the lines. Okay, then, then you've got the yang, this is yin, this is yang, this is yin, this is yang, is in yin. So after polarity and the world of, of energy, if, if anyone knows any macrobiotic three, what comes after, after polarity and energy is, is the world of what? Particles, right? You, you, you remember that? It's a world of particles. Particles. So this is first day, second day, and third day. And, and then we could go on to four, fifth, and six. So the fourth would be the world of elements. Fifth would be you know, the world of, of uh, vegetables. Uh, and, and, and finally, the sixth is the world of uh, animals and, and the human being. But I'm not going to go that far because it, 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 it will get, I, I don't have a, a very nice space. What is important to, to understand now is that when you have three levels of, of yin and yang, what you have is called the eight phenomena of the universe, which are all the combinations of three yin or yang lines. So I'm going to make this simpler now. And, the, and, the, and because I've got a, a combination of three yin or yang lines, you no, know, this is all, all the combinations of, of three yin or yang lines. I call this a trigram. Has anyone heard you know, the expression trigram? No? You have? Okay. Yeah. Now, now, the trigrams are, are, are going to have one of the images of nature. So, so the first one here, you know, the, uh, the, the, the first trigram is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so the first trigram is called heaven. It, it, it's the image of heaven. The, you know, the second is the image of lake. You know, the third trigram is the image of fire. The, the, the third trigram is the image of thunder. Ooh. Fourth, the, the fifth trigram is the image of the wind. The, the sixth trigram is the image of water. Seventh trigram is the image of the mountain. And the second trigram is the image of the earth. And I've got eight, eight trigrams. Now, uh, God created the, the world in six days, but I've only got three days. How do I get to, to six? In, in a simple uh, magic step, I, I'm going to, to combine two trigrams. Okay, so, so from three lines, I, I'm going to get six lines. Okay, I, image, for, for instance, I, I combine um, heaven or earth, which is, the, which is the last one with heaven. 
Okay, so now I, I've got, if I've got eight dry grams and I'm going to double them up in, in pairs, how many, I, I'm going to call this an hexagram. Hexagram means six lines. And the, 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 the hexagrams are the basis of the I Ching. So if I've got eight trigrams, how many hexagrams are we going to have in total? I think so, it's six, 64, isn't it? 64, right? Because it's eight, eight, eight times eight, it's going to be 64. Eight times eight is six, six, 64. So I got 64 hexagrams that give you a certain uh, phase of, of change. Now, this is why the Ching is called the, the Book of Changes, because each hexagram is associated with a specific change in, uh, in, in the universe. So, th so that means that each hexagram is going to, you know, you know, to have its own specific message. So, so what is it you know, that when you do something, when you have a question to ask to do the Ching, that the first step is, is A, you, you have a question. B, you do the casting. Mm -hmm. Casting means you need a way to get one of the 64 hexagrams. And C, you, 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 you interpret the, the, the hexagram interpretation. So you know, like the message. Of course, interpretation is the most no difficult question. We all have questions, right? Does he love me? Sh shall I move? Like Christine is, is, is always asking me, sh shall I move to this place? No, shall I sell my house? Shall I, um, shall I do this? No, shall I do that? Okay, okay. So, so we all have, have questions, okay? Casting is, is also not so difficult. There is, 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 there's hundreds of ways to do, not to do casting, but Interpretation is, is, many, is many times more difficult, but the, the good news is that there are books that, that uh, uh, give you, you know, the message. You, you just go to, to the book and you read you know, the message. Of course, you know, there's not many good books around, and I'm, I'm very sorry that my book is not translated into English yet, because uh, if not, I would really r recommend my book in teaching. It's only in Portuguese at the moment. But uh, you know, that's you, if, if you're on a cast, a question to the Ching, then you, you sort of you can always get a book and, and, and read that book. So now this is a, a little bit like a, you know, the process how it works. Now I, I'm doing this a little, a, a little bit more flexible now. I, I, I want to know how many times uh, how long I have. I would like to do, you know to know how do you want to do this? Do you have any question that uh, that you'd like to ask the Ching? Or, or, or do you want me more to go into details? Uh, do you want to learn a little, a little bit more about theory, or, or do you want to you know to learn a little bit more in practice? So are, are you can cast teaching and how do you interpret an hexagram? Tell me. Does anyone who has, has got any questions and that they would like to ask? Silence. <laughs> huh? Nobody like a question. Okay, well, shall I do a question? <laughs> okay, no, fire, fire ahead, go, go away. <laughs> okay, shall I move? Should I move? Okay, so, so sometimes when you ask a question, it's, it's good to rephrase it in, in, in terms about what happened if I'm going to not to move. And, and, and also it's good to not to have a, a be more specific about the question is what happened if I move to a certain place like like you you've got something in mind is is not just about moving you when you have something in mind is moving to a certain place tell me what place do you have in mind to move well that's a million dollar question isn't it <laughs> no I don't know it's just a place with a big garden probably that's what I want more than anything. Well, so what are, 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 are your perspectives about moving here? Yeah? Okay, so, so the question here would be, okay, what, what would happen 
would happen if I, I move. Okay. Now, the, there's many ways to, to you know to cast you know, the Ching, but one of them is is with call with the cards. Okay. So if you focus on me now, okay. So so I'm show, uh, I'm showing it on, on, on my screen here. So, so can you see me as a speaker? Okay. Yes. Okay. So I, I actually I what I did is I is I devised a very simple way of, of, of casting the DG with only 16 cards. Because because you no, know, there's many ways of, of casting hexagrams with uh, with the yarrow with the uh, with the coins, with the with the yarrow stalks, with all kinds of things, but I, 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 and one of them is a pack of cards. And, and because there's the 64 hexagrams, the, the Ching cards usually come in packs of 64. Basically you shuffle, you, 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 what you call after shuffle, what you say it, you, 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 oh. you, 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 you split and then you, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and, and you take out the ninth card. But packs of, of 64 cards are very expensive. So I, I, I devised uh, a, a pack with only 16 cards. So, and I can give you this as a free download, by the way, because I, I'm not here trying to sell you anything. Okay, so I, I, after, if you want, you, I'll, I'll send you know, those, those packs of cards as a PDF to Renat, and then you can cut them, print them, and it, it will cost you about eight or nine, eight or nine pounds. O okay, so, yeah, I've got a, a pack of nine, a, a pack of nine red cards, which means I, I, I'm going to give me the top trigram, and I, I've got a pack of eight cards, which are, are going to give me the bottom, the, the lower trigram. Okay, so each card a, a, has got a trigram. Can, can you see? You no, know, this one here. No, this is yes. okay. This here would be the wind. No, this here would be the earth. Now this here would be thunder. Now this here would be the lake. Now this here is the water. This here is the mountain, and and this is fire. Okay. And also, I've got exactly you know, the, the same thing here for the red cards. So so remember that the red cards are, are going to give you the top diagram, and the blue cards are are, are going to give you the lower trigram. Am I confusing anyone so far? Or, 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 or everything is clear so far? I don't okay. know because I-, I, I It's I, a magic square. But yeah, because I teach to, usually to, you know, to my feng shui students and I don't know if I'm going to you know too fast or not. Okay. So basically now, sort of what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle. Just shuffle. Shuffle and, and split. And I'm going to put this down. Yeah. Okay. Maria wants to to you know to shuffle and split. Okay. So it's done. Now I've got this one here, and I'm going to empty my mind, and I'm going to think about the number. So, and for instance, five. So I count one, two, three, four, and five, and I take out. No, 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 the fifth card, wind. C -c -c can you see wind here? Uh, no, you can't see it's wind, but it's written wind. Is it? it it's written in Portuguese. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. I've got to do a, an English version, <laughs> but but I will, do a, yeah. I will do an English version. Okay, wind is funny because wind is about moving. Okay, so already I I I've uh -huh. line of movement here, and and Christine was asking. Okay, am I going to move? And and the top diagram means the wind. What would happen if I move? Okay, so 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 some trigram, all trigrams have got no different things. Like the mountain, is the mountain moving? No. There's no movement in the mountain, right? Okay, so 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 so, so, so the mountain is very still. Earth, like Earth, is the Earth moving? No. <laughs> I think so. But wind does definitely move. Thunder, 
No, does the thunder move? Yes. Yes, it does. It does move. So already wind on top. Okay. So so now I go here. I do the same thing. I shuffle. Can you see here? I'm shuffling. Okay. I split, and then I've got number three in my head. It could be any number, but don't count too, too, too much. Okay. So one, two, and three, and I'm going to get you know, this dry gram here. And this is you noodle know, like. So this is quite a so so now I've got wind on top and I've got lake on 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 the bottom. So I, I I'm gonna so now I'm gonna share my screen again and I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay. Okay, so, 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 so the red card gave me wind, wind on top. Okay, so if you want, I'm going to put this in, in red. Okay, and the blue card, blue card, blue card gave me lake. Okay, so that's the lake. The lake. Okay, so now I I I need to I need to sort of to find an answer you know, to your question, but you don't know how to read you know, the exogram. So so because you don't know how to read the exogram, you you you've got to go into the book, and the you know, the first thing know that you need to, to know is that you no know, you no know, the trigrams are, are ordered you no know, they've got the number so the trigrams trigrams okay so, so I'm gonna put this in, in black you no know, the trigrams have a number have a number a number from one to sixty four and this is called you know, the Confucius Confucius sequence. Has anyone heard about no, no, no Confucius? No. Uh, yes, it's what no Confucius in English. Yeah, is, Confucius, Greek philosopher. No Greek, it's Chinese, Maria. Really. Chinese. <laughs> okay. He, he, he lived about five hundred BC. No, no before Christ, okay? And so, so in, in order to, to find you know, the number of the hexagram, I, I need to go to a table and, and I'm gonna show you this table. Yeah, let me see here. Now this is a, actually from my previous lecture, okay? So this is a Confucius sequence and then it shows you, you know this table here. And basically on top, you've got the upper trigram. Can you see here, upper? No, this is all, no, the, the red is all the, the upper trigram. Oh, hang on, sorry. Here, upper trigram. And here I've got you know, the lower trigram. So the red is, is going to give you, you know, the column and, and, and the lower trigram is, is going to give you, you know, the line. So the, can anyone sort of remember you know, the upper trigram, what is it? Wind. Wind, okay. So here, sort of, can you see here wind? Yeah. I've got wind here. Sort of, can you see here wind? Wind? Number nine. Yeah, 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 someone's got it already. Wind, now wind, wind is, is this line here, not number nine, not yet. Okay, so I'm in, the, I'm in this column here. If it can be any, any trigram that's got you know, the wind on top. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna look for the lower trigram. Uh, which is can lake. 
Hi. lake. Okay, so to, can you see you know, the lake here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. you no, know, the last line? Last line? So so, so I, 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 I'm, I'm going to do this one here. An intersection between you know, this line and, and this column, it's going to give me a number. What number is this? 61. Okay, that's great. So I've got hexagram number 61. What you've got to do now is find any book on, on the Ching and, and look, for, uh, and they're all numbered. And you've got to do, you know, to look at the message of hexagram number 61. Unfortunately, you know, no, I, I, I don't read books because I, I'm a trained in, in, in Ching and, and Chinese metaphysics. So, so I, I've got to read you know, the hexagram. I, I already know the, know the answer, Christine, but, but, but I'm going to explain to you. So this is a little bit, it is going to be a little, a little bit more far-fetched. Okay, so, so, this, so this hexagram is this. Okay, so you've got, you, you, so it, you, what you got is this here. Let me see here. You, you've got these six lines. Okay, uh, and this is actually, actually exogram number 61. And this exogram is about looking inside. Okay, because you no, know, the middle is empty. And it, it, it's a little bit like the shape of, of a heart as well, because, because we can also group you know, these lines in, into two. And, and these lines, so it's, it's going to be, not, not all hexagrams, you, you can do this, but these hexagrams, in, in this hexagram, you can. And this is like this. And this trigram is fire, and it, it relates to the heart. So it's everything to, to do about you, because your, 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 uh, even your uh, email is fire heart, isn't it? So you actually took you know, the, ex the, the ex exogram of the heart. And, and the heart is empty, is, is empty in, inside. So that means you have to look inside. And, and the reason why you, you sort of, you want not to move is, is, is because you want to, to look inside yourself. Now, you know, there's other ways of, of, of looking inside you, yourself rather than just moving sort of physically. So, so, so maybe now you need to reflect who you are in your insight and, and look for the questions inside and not outside. Because when you're moving, you, you, you're always wanting to, to find something, answer to sort of to your life in the exterior environment. And it's time you know, that you look inside and, and you look at your heart and, you, and, and you, you try to understand what's going inside you and inside your personality. And, when, and, and once you, 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 you found that out, then you can move and, and you can move in, you, you can move successfully. Okay? Okay, lovely. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm <laughs> interpreting, so, uh, so I'm not in, in, in interpreting because I'm, inter I'm doing you know, the interpretation of, of the lines. It, it, it takes quite a while to interpret the, the lines, but you know, to, trust me, no, no, this is the message of this, is looking, looking yourself in the mirror. Okay? Okay, thanks. So that's great. So I, I, I've got time for, for another question or does anyone would like to, to, to ask me another question? So because I like, to, so I don't have a, a lot of time to, to, to teach uh, in terms of exactly what is this and, and what is that. So I, I could make it more interesting. Uh, Paulusha, yes, you have a question. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Uh, uh, the question can be, uh, I'll do with the question, then you have. Uh, should I keep the house or should I sell it? <laughs> should I sell my house? Yes, or should I keep it? That was, uh, I would like more. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to use like the cards method again because it's, it's very, very easy. Okay. Mm. Oh, I, I, I'm going to shuffle. Joao, Joao, can I ask a question? When you choose, when you choose the number, wouldn't it be better that the person asking the question chooses the number? 
like you, with me, you chose a five and a seven, didn't you? Yeah, no, it, and a three, yeah. So you can choose no, no the number, okay? Okay, no, just one thing. I never explained why is, is this. Why, why can you do, do the prediction of the future? Because in the UG, because, because in the UG, there's no time and space. Because, because time and space arise when yin and yang uh, 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 arises. So the first no, no separation is the creation of time and space, yin and yang. So time is yang and space is yin. So, so time and space only exist in the world of the relative. In, in the world of, of God, time and space no, does not exist. And when time and space does not exist, it means all phenomena, they coexist in the same place at the same time. And we all have a memory where we've come from because we've all been there. We've all been in infinity. We've all experienced God. And, and the Ching is, is a way to, to, to connect, it's a straight line uh, up to God, straight line up to Uji. And when you are in the Uji state, in, in the state of total emptiness, you, 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 you are in the state that all phenomena coexist. Co co and in that space, no, there's no time and, 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 and all, all phenomena are there. So that's why you can see what's going to happen in the future and you, you can see what's going to happen in, in, in the past. Okay, it, no, that's how you do it. You, you, so you, you, you detach you, you yourself from the world of the, rel of, of the relative and you go straight up to the world of the absolute. You, you become a little bit like God because we are all God. We, we say that we are made at the image of God. Because we are God, right? We, or, 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 or that means we all have a godly essence, uh, uh, a spiritual and a divine essence in every human being. Now, because we, we've, and, and we're all doing this wonderful journey in, in the world of, of, of the relative. So, so Paulus, I, 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 so I'm going to shuffle and I'm almost there, right in time. I, so I'm going to finish in time. Now, now, Paulusha, tell me, a number one to nine, a, a number one, any number you want. Three. One, two, and three. Okay. Mountain. Mountain means being still. Okay. Another question sort of about moving. So the Ching is fantastic. Okay. So we were talking about movement and stillness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either of us were moving, talking about moving, she got the wind. And mm -hmm. About moving, you got the mountain. <laughs> okay, now here a, a number. Sorry, another number for, for the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you, you, you've got water. Okay. Water, water, okay. water means movement. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so 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 now I'm going to do you know, the same again. So I'm going to share my screen. So, so I'm going to show you how, how it's done. Start broadcast. Okay, I I I can tell you already you know, that you're going to move, but not ready, not time ready yet because you no, know, this hexagram is called. Immaturity. Uh, I'll show you. It, it's a situation that, you know, that's quite that is not quite ready yet. So, so, so we here. I, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to you know, to my book to my table. You know that I showed you. So if I'm going to, okay, erase this one here. Okay. So on on top here now. So if you don't have wind. You, you have the mountain. Okay, can you see? So, so we're actually here in this column here, mountain, mountain here, mountain here, in this column. Can you see mountain here? This yeah. is mountain. Okay, and and be, and you 
you've, you've got to look for water. Sort of, can you see water here? Yeah. If you're here. So that's the, uh, exogram number four. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. And then exogram number four is immaturity. So it, it means a situation, you no, know, that's not quite ready yet. Why? Because one of the associations with the trigrams are called like the family member. You no, know, this mountain is called you no know, the youngest son. And water is the middle sun. And this, this is quite easy. I, I, sort of feel how you see this because can you see here? You can see yin, yin, yang. So mm. yin, which is the first line. No, this is yin, the second line. And this is yang, which is the third line. Yang is the sun and it comes in, in the third position. Here is, is the middle sun because you no, know, this is yin, yin, yang, and yin. So this is the younger sun, and this is not, not the middle sun. So the middle sun and, and the youngest sun, especially when the youngest sun is on top, you no, know, they're not mature enough because when you should move and sell to the house, you should be either in the eldest son, eldest daughter, father, or, or mother. So, so this situation here is, is not ready for you to move. You've got to develop a little bit more maturity and then you sell the, the house and you move. So you know, just to develop you know, the situation a little bit more and everything will come to you in due time. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Okay, so, so any... Any last questions about um, about the, the ching? I I, I, I I like to spend another two minutes encouraging you to to, to study the ching. The ching, Jojo Sawa used to say that the ching is the is the basis of macrobiotics because it's called the book of change. What does macrobiotic do? Macrobiotic change uh, studies you know, the the order of the universe. So studies the way you know, the universe changes and, and the classic book upon which macrobiotics is founded is the I Ching. And, and, and George Osawi, you, you used to say that. So he obviously studied and read you know, the I Ching and, and, and he translated it and he, he studied it. And then that's how he, he developed his, his understanding of, of macrobiotics. So if you really wanted to practice macrobiotics, you, you have to develop judgment. And one of the best tools, if not the, the, the fundamental tool to, to understand the order of the universe and, and now everything changes and, and go straight to the essence of macrobiotics is to study the I Ching. Okay, so, so keep learning, keep practicing. And if you've got any questions, but by the way, sort of we've got, I, I have a project which is the Portuguese National School of Feng Shui. And now I started something called the, the Feng Shui Academy. So if I'm, I'm, I'm going to just leave you here with my website in English. It's a very exciting project. Uh, I, I'm almost finished here. So I, I, so I take no, no the opportunity. It's uh, fengshuiacademy.com. Hang on. So it's, uh, I'm sure that that Renat won't mind. It's www. Feng Shui, uh, sorry, Feng Shui, Feng Shui Academy. And João, you also have the Escola Macrobiotica now in Lisbon. Yes, yes, and, and uh, <laughs> it's another, I recognize that voice. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Gennad, it's Philippe. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> All right. So now, so now I'm going to leave you with another dear friend you know, that works together. But by the way, in, uh, in Portugal, we have so, sort of a, a fantastic setup for, for microbiotics here. I think Lisbon has become the, the heart of microbiotics in the world. <laughs> we organized recently the, the microbiotic forum, and there's Simon here, there's, there's Philippe, there's so much going on in, in, in terms of microbiotics. You know, do come and visit us. No, do come and, and share your experience with us. And, and if you, ah, 
And we're going to have an inter intensive course in microbiotics for six weeks. Or is it uh, five weeks? It's a whole month. So, and, uh, and Simon is going to be part of it, and I'm going to be part of it, and Philippe is going to be part of it here, your next speaker, and Maria is here, is going to be part of it as well. And, <laughs> and come to, to Portugal, and we're going to host you. And, and Joel, and, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ok, e é isso. Muito obrigado, Joel. Obrigado. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, bye, Maria. Thank you, Joel. Very good. Are you still at the spa? Uh,